My dad told me, Frank, when somebody's down in the gutter, you don't step on them, you help them up. What's up, baby doll? You look good. It's good to see you. 20, 40, 60, 80. A G. Tapes Rolling is made possible in part by grants from the Dayton Hudson Foundation on behalf of Dayton's and Target stores, and from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting through the Central Educational Network. We grew up in a section of Brooklyn called Canarsie, in Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, New York. I grew up with some of the, you know, greatest guys, and unfortunately, some are resting in peace right now, and it was just uh, a real different time. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. My dad told me, Frank, when somebody's down in the gutter, you don't step on them, you help them up. Let's go. Good morning. Good to see you. Hey, you hello. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Johnny Scars. Oh, so you got some Jack ready? Got there. Best shirt. The what's that? Best shirt. Yeah. You are welcome. Frank and I come as close to Johnny to being brothers Scott, without the genetic connection. There, we're very, very, very close friends. I'd do anything for Frank. Yeah. At this end over here, we got the you know soon to be famous prize fighter, yeah. Eddie Fingers Daniels, Edwin. I'd like to introduce you, this is Bobby. How you doing? Giuseppe Amati, all right? That's our man, you know, Edwin, the fingers, uh, Daniels. Let me just throw this up here. That's gonna be good there. Oops, <laughs> Daisy, sorry about that. Oh, wait. Yeah, you guys will edit, you know? You don't need to be shooting these, these cluttered, you know, storerooms, okay? Yeah. You know, Frank's a guy that, you know, nine years ago was on the roof of a house in the middle of the winter freezing his buns off banging nails you know and here we are today you know we we employed 10 almost people yeah. almost a dozen people frank's family another guy's wife and son um pay everybody decent wages i mean good wages we pay we pay pretty well Every morning, every yeah. morning you got him in the ribs. Yeah. Two to the body. People that don't know about it very definitely misunderstand the business. There's the perception that, number one, we're welfare banks. The another misperception is, is that we charge exorbitant fees. The people that create the stereotypes all are carrying a checkbook around in their back pocket that's loaded with plastic. and. They have, they have no concept of not having a bank account. If you have a checking account closed for having NSF checks, there is a list that the banks circulate and you basically become blackballed and banks do not want to do business with you and your name sits on that list for seven years. When you start talking to people, about the inherent risk involved in cashing checks, two and a half percent is not a lot of money. You know, why charge people a lot for cashing their paycheck? They have to live off that money. So we also offer on top of that free money orders to somebody when they cash their paycheck there. Okay. Okay, Randall. It's a money order for 290. Get the go, okay. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, got, uh, 80. got a certificate of appreciation from the Stevens community, and then, uh, you know, Stevens community has, has been a real supportive, you know, diversified community, and, you know, proud, you know, to be a, a service to, you know, all of the residents you know, in the community, uh, and, you know, for one reason or another, if it's, you know, money orders, if it's, you know, just, you know, coin for the, 
for their, uh, you know, their, their, their laundry. Uh, uh, what else? We do copies. We do faxes. Oh. Good morning. Uh, besides offering, you know, to check cash in, you know, and the money gram and the wire. And very, and, very and, basically, know. that's what we're doing here. Is we're 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 so taking. That's what it was. We're uh, we're taking a person's paycheck, which that's is a piece of paper, and taking a two or three day risk on it, and giving them negotiable okay. currency for it. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the hedges you take against that risk? Um, those are kind of secrets of the industry. That's what makes us good. <laughs> Last week. They didn't, they didn't get it. Sorry, I'm saying that. That's a $75 million ticket? No, oh, that's a $50 million ticket. What's up, man? What's up, baby dog? You look good. It's good to oh, see you. You ain't seen me in a minute. So Where you been at? Where you gonna do it again? Oh, yeah. Where you been at? No, no, that's 20. You know, I've been walking for a minute, man. Chilling, man. That's what I've been doing, man. Okay, two months. Working seven months, doing all right. Like, I gotta tell you no more. Ready? Right. Oh, yeah. Man, you know, I'm just trying to get this thing going, man. Yeah, I'm trying to get this thing going, man. Yeah, I'm trying to get this thing going, man. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. Three hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. Four hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. I got his autograph. You know, put in my photo album. Good fella. He's a wise guy. <laughs> Just like me, huh? I love you, paisano. Hey, my goomba. Thank you, Victor. Good to see you, babe. It's good to see you. Thank you. Hey, what's up? What's up, what's man? Up, hey, yeah, Victor, you know, lives in the hood also, and, hey, man. oh, yeah, you know, real articulate, you know, just a great, wise man himself. What services do you use, uh, avail yourself of here at, uh, at the Money Exchange? What, what do you come to do? Check cashing, uh, money orders, loans. <laughs> you know, no, no. <laughs> Frank, Frank does give you an occasional loan, small loan, doesn't he? Uh, well, you know, sometimes, you know, an emergency or something. You know, Frank's very understanding guy, very compassionate, you know. He says you've been Coming a long time, you guys have a pretty good, pretty cordial relationship. Yeah, well, I live right next door. See, I was homeless for a while, mm -hmm. and I got my money together. He introduced me to the landlord, and yeah. it was on the strength of his word that I got my apartment, which is really great, you know, because I've been out in the streets for like a year, you know. So, yeah, I owe him a lot, you know. He always looks out for me. 35% of population uh, don't have a bank account. Uh, uh, Talk about that a little bit. Uh, maybe what some of the reasons for that, and why a place like this, you know, is important. I think <clears throat> most poor people, uh, the financial institutions, you know, banking, it intimidates them. Mm -hmm. You know, to walk in, open up an account, to be able to articulate, enunciate, mm -hmm. that type of thing. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's basically the number one reason why most people don't get an account in the first place. You know. It's not that they don't get an occasional stack of cash, you know, a thousand, two, whatever. It's just that I think they're intimidated. 20, 40, 60, 80. 500, 20, 40, 60, 80. 600. I, I think that minorities, a lot of minorities, haven't been exposed to the other side, you know? Yeah. I mean, the sort of... To Caucasian society, yeah. you know, like the different things that you are... Um, blessed with or whatever, the education, you know, going to Europe after you graduate from college or high school, you see that's pretty foreign to us, to, to some of us, you know, not all of us. Is it okay if I use your name? Sure, yeah. yeah okay. Scotty D. Victor. They call me Scotty D. Victor. Scott D. Victor. That's your full name? Right. Victor, like V-I-C-T-O-R? Yeah. Okay. Conquer and overcomer. <laughs> I go to the bank sometimes, but majority of my business I take care of is here at Frank's. Uh-huh. And it's, uh, like I said, I like the service that they give. It much more, seems like it'd be more on one-to-one -one basis with here than at the bank, you know. Because here, like I said, they seem like they know you. 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60. And I come here to keep from going downtown. I buy a bus card for the month, pay the phone bill, and get my money orders here. I've been working all my life, and I work construction. And many times I have to have my foreman to speak up for me, as far as vouching for me. 
like for us a car loan and stuff like that. But you think that's just basic racism or or is it? Well, it's just a little, little both skepticism and, and racism, you know. But uh, you got to understand the bank; they have to do their job. 820, 40, 60, 80, 920, 40, 60, 80. A G. Frank's a very good guy. Yes, he is. Why, why do you say that? Well, he's a good friend of a friend of mine. Uh -huh. She knows him personally. Uh -huh. Yeah, he you know, helps people out out there. Yes, he does. Like I said, he's a good friend of a friend of mine. Uh -huh. oh, she's never had any problems with him. That's or you said place of business. Great. Hey, it's $20 fee. Hello, Norma. How you doing? Can I get taken care of? Yeah, you know, you'll go over right over there, and he's going to take care of you. Alan. Talk. Alan. Yeah, go, go, go get a, a garlic pizza. All right? All right. Like that. You guys want pizza, right? I grew up in a section of Brooklyn called Canarsie, Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, New York. Went to Canarsie High School. It was, uh, you know, lower middle class to middle class. My, my mom and my pa were you know, great, great, you know, Italian Americans. My uh, dad was a construction worker to this day, still construction worker. My mom works for the Board of Ed in New York. My sister is a special ed teacher. Now, growing up, I went to a parochial school. I was an altar boy, captain of the crossing guards. You know, it was a, it was a good life. Why don't I just get this All right, let's cut. Let's, let's chow down. Bon appetit. Frank, love Pepsi. Yeah, hey, Marty, Marty, come on. Let's cut this now. Let's yeah. eat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Antigua, Antigua, like you know, Caribbean. Caribbean? Yeah. No, it's not. Where is Antigua? I, well, I don't know where Antigua. Is. Yeah. It's in the Caribbean. Yeah. So is, is the pink one the right one to use? Do they money to the Caribbean? Yeah. Oh yeah. I've talked to them. They referred me here. Okay. This one? A pink one? Yeah, yeah, man. No, it's gonna be yeah, the pink one. Okay. <laughs> So what brought what brought you here today? A friend of mine um, is uh, is working on a cruise ship, and he ran out of money. So I'm sending him some money. Where are you, money? Yes. In Antigua. Yes. That was nice of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, his mother is contributing most of the money. I see. He's just a young guy. Uh -huh. Doesn't spend his money wisely. I can't yeah. understand why they won't. Give me their number down there so I can call them. Good. Thank you. But I suppose Antigua sounds it's so exotic. I'm just sort of irritated that I'm here. Well, what's the problem? What does she want? I put the wrong name on there. OK, yeah, just, just put a line through it. That'll be fine. Yeah, 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 put a line through it. It'll be perfectly all right. We don't want to waste, you know, the tree. I mean, I don't that's going to work. 3904-7590. Fourteen, sixty-one, and two. Thank you, Kim. You, you called in the reinforcements here? Yeah. Yeah, Sherry, you know, she's real versatile. She's, uh, no. Oh, um, she does everything. Everything. Bookkeeping, you know, the house, the baby, the mother, the good wife. She comes in here, you know, she'll pitch in. You know, so she's a very versatile lady. He really, you know, when I met him, he was ready to have a family. Well, I just make it out to camp. You know, um, and the side at work, you know, it's, yeah, it's yeah, like a, just business. That's it. You know, he's very, very aggressive. Uh, you know, plays hardball a lot. And at home, he's very gentle with, you know, Maddie and myself. Okay. Now, who that? That's Daddy. Well, who is this? When I came out of high school, just uh, got involved with, uh, you know, the drug scene. The way of life was, it was Alphabet City, you know, you go into New York City and, you know, and there was new Rockefeller drug laws and, you know, and, you know, narcotics were pushed out of, you know, nice little, you know, suburban white neighborhoods. 
uh, you know, we had to, you know, venture out, you know, and go as far as, you know, the Lower East Side in New York City, Alphabet City, Harlem, and, you know, and, and cop dope. I was fortunate enough, my mom borrowed some money from my godfather. And, and they shipped me out here. One-way ticket, came out to, went to St. Mary's, and I've uh, been in the program for 13 years now. Who's that? I did wind up staying oh, here. Taking? People from Minnesota were, were f good enough to give me a break and, you know, give me a chance. And at that time, uh, that's when I was uh, introduced to, uh, you know, uh, a check cashing facility, uh, you know, through Johnny Scars. For me, it's great working for Frank. Um, I, I have a, uh, an undying entrepreneurial spirit and was something that I discovered in myself about eight years ago. And he, he allows me to pursue that. Um, so, so for me, it's really, really good working for Frank. Um, it's a little bit to get, a little bit difficult to get along with sometimes. Hey, let's switch counters. Here, take care of this lady over here. Let me take care of this. Okay. Step over there, please. Okay. You step over there. He's gonna take care of you over there. Yeah. You spend a lot of time in the store here, huh? Yeah, I do quite a bit. Yeah. What What do you like about it? Yeah. There's, there's lots of things I like, you know. It's just, uh, gives me something to do, you know, because I, I, I'm on disability, you know, and I don't have no job. It gives me a little part-time work, you know, a little responsibility and stuff. Hey, Cheese. Yeah. Come to open that door. Oh, hey, open that door. Get fresh air in there. Okay. Cheese Burrow's been with us for, uh, Going on probably four years, you know, he's a resident in the neighborhood and he, uh, we, we employ him uh, to clean up our lobby, you know, at night, you know, just organize things, get us ready for the next day. And he does such a real great job. He loves a sense of responsibility. So, so he, he, he cleans up the lobby every night, does vacuuming, uh, wipes down the counters. Uh, he, he hangs out in the lobby all day? Tell me about your shirt, says the lonesome kid. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of like a nickname or a stage name, you know. Uh, I don't know if I should really tell you how I got it. I, I, maybe I should. Sure. Uh, well, I kind of think the Eagles drummed it up, you know. And Leonard Skinner gave it to me, more or less, in 76, you know. Uh -huh. It's just what I, what, I, what I figured, you know. Uh, I couldn't help but notice uh, you gave cheese there 20 bucks. Yeah. Just for... I was born on Christmas Day, and I always have, like, lousy presents. And I always, like, feel like being Santa Claus on Christmas time. And um, I decided December 1st, starting December 1st, for the entire month, I'm just going to make myself happy. Fine. And that makes me happy. <laughs> does, it, does it make you happy? Oh, yes, because I'm going to drop boxes, put so much in, you know. She said to hang on to it, but I'm going to give it to, like, mm -hmm. Salvation Army, the drink bell ringers and stuff. Oh. I'll share it. You're going to be on television? Let me get it. I wonder why I should send Phil out. It's pink. It's, is that a sand? I'm going to go to England. To England? Yeah. Fill yeah. out this one? Yeah, send up the, yeah, that, that pink one will go. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. Just uh, put London, England? Right. Okay. Yeah, only, you only need one, so put that back, please. Yeah. Oh, okay. 1,070? Uh, this costs 70 bucks, right? 70 bucks, 1,070 euro. Okay. I need to see your ID. My ID. Okay, you, want, you can take the whole thing if you want it. Okay. That's my driver's card there. Nice. And I need 1,070. Okay, that's what you want right now? Right now. Okay. Okay. Just make sure it's there. That's that's a thousand. And then I got seventy here or someplace. It's a thousand. And there's a hundred. Okay. okay. Never done this before. You doing great. We wiring some money today? Or? Yeah, wiring some money over to uh, London. Who who's in London? Uh, a friend of a friend. <laughs> She's a, this lady from uh, Toronto who's over there. 
uh, working on putting some money together for us. You know I mean, it's kind of a venture yeah, capital yeah. deal. And uh, I'm doing it for a friend anyway, see? Uh-huh. Yeah. I hope it gets there all right. I've never done this before. So it's kind of new. I think, do I, uh, do I get a receipt then, I suppose? Asking the wrong guy. I'm asking, okay. Do I, do I get a receipt on that? Oh, he's sending it right now. It goes that fast, huh? My gosh. So what's going to happen is the other party, what's the party receiving, John? Wilma. Wilma will yeah. be able to pick it up within three minutes. Is that we, right? We're saying, right? Yeah, three minutes, yeah. But if she doesn't come for a half hour or a day... I, it'll stay there. It's still there. Only her, only Wilma with the proper ID will be able to pick it up. Okay, what if she What if she drops dead, like, say, tomorrow? You Could, come back and you pick it up. Not, on, not only here can you pick it up, you can pick it up at any other agent, agent you want to pick okay, it up Okay, pick it up at any place, as long as I have the receipt, right? It's not complicated, man. You must be pretty busy in here, huh? Yeah, we stay busy, yeah. I, uh, I you can send this even in, within the states too, someplace. Excuse me. In the United States. Yeah. Or any place in the world. I think they can pick it up, right? Right. Isn't that yeah. something? Is there any countries you can't send it to? Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. There are a few countries, uh huh. Like uh, in Bingo Wango Bongo or something like that. <laughs> what city are you from? Uh, Ortonville. Ortonville. Minnesota. Wow. Yeah. We could send. We could send to Ortonville too. You could, huh? It's okay. If you have okay. any questions, I'm going to put an 800 toll-free number here. Okay. Nine two six. It's a. It's a customer service number. Yeah. That's nine two six ninety four hundred. And okay. this is the reference number. If you're able to speak to Wilma, you give her this number, and we'll just expedite things at the window. Okay. So that's how it works. Okay. Well, thank you. I thank you very much. I appreciate it. I learned, I learned something today. Yeah, you have a great day. Yeah. Hey, did, did you, you want our phone number? Hey, here's our phone number. This is a... Pardon? Yeah, load it up, baby. Put some cards in there. Well, you got your phone number, too. Okay. There you are. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you very much, yeah, thanks. Jim. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. See ya. See ya. Bye-bye. 99.9% uh, .9 of my people are just great people. Honest, good people, sincere people. Uh, yeah, uh, we don't take too many bad checks. We take a few, but usually... Do you start to get like a six cents for the bad apples? I mean... Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. You know, when we, we, uh, we don't take too many bad checks. Yeah, we know. We got that six cents, is right. Go ahead and slide the bill through. What is it? Uh, I mean, can you explain that, or is it just okay. something you just got to feel? Well, I was... Uh, I just, you know, you just, you just get to know it, you know. And you, once you've been around, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a morning glory myself, you know. I've been around the block, you know. So, you know. It's a business that that in some senses is fraught with risk. Um, you know, we we make money cashing checks, and. One check can destroy a day's work. Eddie, what do you got on this guy? Huh? What do you got on this guy? On this guy? Oh, yeah. you need smoke for it? Signature. I got that time. No, what kind of ID? Where's where's his card? His card? Yeah. He didn't have a card with us. I know the guy. Why'd you have him fill it out? You gave him all cash, Ed. More cash. You gave him all cash? Yeah. How much you charge him? Uh, four percent. Uh, Commerce Bank, St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah, Eddie, you know, when it says two parties, man, both people have to sign it, man. I need to verify a cashier's check. Zero eight zero five zero five one eight one. Uh, four thousand one hundred fifty dollars. Okay. Charles, uh... No, I don't. Do you have a K? How do you know he's not going to do something on it? Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. You can't go ahead and just assume it's probably information. Yeah, it's a valid it's a valid cashier's check. Yeah, well, you know what's going to happen is the entertainment company, who it's made payable to also, is going to turn around and say, you know, you know, they didn't get their, you know, money. Yeah, Eddie, and you always, all right, you always, 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 have to get a card. I don't care if you, I don't care if it's your brother. On a check this size, you got to get a card filled out. I mean, we got to have a file on these people. Okay. You know, I mean, it's just it's just part of, part of the way it's got to be. Did you get them for six percent?
Okay, should be approximately that much. Okay. Okay, can I see a picture ID? I'm, I'm not perfect. I have a lot of, you know, uh, character defects, you know, I mean, I, I have to, you know, learn a little bit more and I'm learning all the time, but uh, I'm just an average guy, you know, very excitable, can, you know, shoot up, you know, from being real happy to being, you know, uh, you know on a more, you know, temperamental side. My dad told me, Frank, when somebody's down in the gutter, you don't step on them, you help them up. And I say that and I feel, you know, vibes going through my, my cheeks and my body and, you know, my dad, you know, to this day, uh, you know, believes the same thing and as little as he has today, uh, you know, he's willing to help somebody. Thank you very much, Catherine. Uh -huh. uh, Happy holidays to you. I'll be here tomorrow. All right, it's good to see you. One day I want to have a big barbecue, you know, with the sausage and, and the peppers and have everybody hanging around, eating the sausage, playing some good tunes, you know, the soundtrack to Goodfellas with, you know, all five, you know, a bunch of old Lincoln just popped all around, you know, the barbecue pit. You know? how, did you, how did you get into the Lincoln thing? I mean, it seems like an unlikely car. To oh, collect. you see, that's all the Goodfellas drove. I mean, you know, back in the 70s, man, this is, you know, this is the ride of luxury. Hate trolling is made possible in part by grants from the Dayton Hudson Foundation on behalf of Dayton's and Target stores, and from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting through the Central Educational Network. This program was produced by KTCA, a Minnesota original.